Hello, my name is Jana. And I'm Hannah. We both are from IPC store. Let's show together what? Double Alpha Lynx new belt. Let's try to see what is this. Yeah, it looks interesting, this. So many different colors and different combinations that we can make here. You can do even rainbow mm -hmm. <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like a brand new product. It's by Double Alpha Academy. And you can see on one side it's smooth. It's a, a nylon resin plastic. And the back also Velcros onto your belt. So you can adjust it onto your inner belt with Velcro and use it the same way as usual belt as we all used to use normally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is in the set? If we need to make a belt for ourselves, so what do we need? We've got the Lynx pieces. And also you, you would need a buckle. Yes. Let's see what do we have inside. This is the buckle set. Let's unpack. What do we have here? This is the buckle. This O-ring. It's for retention probably. Mm -hmm. So ah, nice. You can move, not <laughs> only stand with this belt. <laughs> what else? This is the pins to uh, connect all these pieces all together, putting these pins inside the holes if you adjust like this okay what else this is probably mm -hmm. to lock the buckle spare o-ring ah oh, that's helpful and punch to if you would need to remove for example mm -hmm. a piece so can you just pull them out of there mm -hmm. so probably it's everything here what we need what do we need else uh, we need to measure ourselves yes this is important to make sure we get the right size mm -hmm. how many of the links pieces will we yeah need? let's see on the website mm -hmm. let's see if we go to ipstore.com and find the links belt you can see a chart with all the measurements so before you measure yourself and see how many centimeters or inches mm -hmm. do you have and then you can see how many pieces do you need to make your own belt mm -hmm. own size belt yeah so let's try mm -hmm. so i think this size will be different from what we're used to in the size of IPSC belts because we are used to having overlap on the belt. So generally I've gone a couple of inches larger to make sure that I can do up my belt at the back, but the buckle system actually is incorporated in the size of the belt as well. Mm -hmm. So if you are normally a particular inch or size, just make sure you actually have a look at the sizing chart to get the correct number of links based on this number here. So the best way to measure yourself is to actually put on your inner belt, uh, have it as you normally would have it, tie it ready for your rig to be attached. Um, and we can just take a soft tape measure and wrap that around the outside of it to get the exact measurement. Okay, so in my case, it's looking at about 85 centimeters, so I might have to go Let's up see. a little bit on that. Let's see <laughs> on the web page. Ah, we don't have this size, <laughs> <laughs> but we can see here 90 centimeters, mm -hmm. so probably 85 is that a little bit the, less. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's measure one piece mm -hmm. so we can see how many centimeters mm -hmm. we can take off for example it's so each is it just a it's approximately four centimeters four centimeters so probably yeah. uh, 90 minus 4 is uh, 86, 86. Mm -hmm. so probably yeah. you can have maybe 27 26 mm -hmm. we can okay, try great 
So you can just find your number based on the measurement of the outside of your inner belts. Yeah. So now we're going to have a look at the individual links pieces and have a look at how it actually is constructed together. And there's a few different options here in terms of the colors, which is really nice, the colors that Double Alpha have brought out because it allows you to bring in a little bit of creativity and flair and a bit of your style into the range. So if you are a little bit more conventional, we've got sort of like the blacks, grays, whites. You can be unique on the yeah, range. You can exactly. be unique. Exactly. So I think that I would make a red brick mm -hmm. and put some flags of my countries. Nice. Yeah. What? Which? Which color do you use? For do me, you I don't like colors so much, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really liking the whites because I've not seen much of the white. This on the is range. quite rare color yeah, on the range. I've not seen for that belt. before. Really? So yeah, I think I'm going to try the white and see how that looks when it's all together. So let's start. Let's start building. It's like I will build the flag. Okay, I'll start finding my white pieces. So the two links pieces firmly sort of connect together, and you can see that the hole matches up in the center there. So what I might do first is construct a few pieces together and then we can have a look at putting the pins in to hold it all into place. Okay. So here is my pieces. This is the flag of Estonia and the red color of the whole belt. It will be like something nice. different. Yeah, I like that. It's nice and personal. So now I have to put the pin inside. Ah, I have also here. And let's connect them mm -hmm. using those pins. So we can use some firm surface and just push them inside. Once done, my flag is ready. Ah, that looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what else? Adjust now to the belt. I will do my belt for mm -hmm. PCC. I will have a PCC match this weekend, ah. so I can try a new belt nice. with my also double alpha pole pouches mm -hmm. for PCC competition. For what will you use your belt? I'm going to start a new belt and rig. I'm going to put on one of the CR Speed holsters and also the CR Speed pouches and magnet and see how that works by combining the different brands together yeah. to see how that well That will it be connects. interesting. Yeah. 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 After we make this be belt, we can go to competitions mm -hmm. and make a videos how we can shoot with them. Yeah. That sounds you good. Think the belts. Beautiful. So, finally, my belt is almost ready. Looking good. It looks like this. Nice. We'll see how it will be. <laughs> uh, now I have to put buckles and lock. Let's put the buckle on. It's the same way. Mm -hmm. You just put it here. Yep. And another side is... So, mm -hmm. now I have to connect with the pins. So now I can put on and connect. So I put a little bit on the side since I want to put my pouches for PCC on front. Mm -hmm. 
So mm -hmm. now I will adjust the pouches also here. So my buckle is a little bit aside. Nice. Show your belt. Mm -hmm. Say, so, this one I've put the CR Speed Ultra holster for the CZ Checkmates and also the Versa pouches. So now we can start to see we've got <coughs> the inner belt. Now one thing that's important to know is it doesn't actually come with the inner belt. So if you've already got an IPSC rig um, and belt, you can use your existing belt or if you're choosing this one as a fresh new belt, then you need to also get the inner belt as well to attach it. So I'm going to, let's see how velcro -y this is. Oh, it's actually quite, quite firm. And then you can attach that in the middle there. So I think for me, I think I actually might add one extra link in there. So you can see that the O-ring there is stretched all the way across. So to me, I think I probably want to put one more link on there so that there's not quite so much tension. But the fit is actually quite nice. It feels and really quite firm. Very nice. Yeah. yeah it looks very nice. It, it feels a lot uh, thinner mm -hmm. in the belt as well. So if you can sort of Comparing see. Comparing to yeah. other belts that you yeah. had before. And yeah. even the double alpha, the, the rigid premium belt, it's a lot thicker. So it actually feels a lot lighter and has mm -hmm. quite a bit of, I feel like I can move a bit more in it, mm -hmm. which is good. And it fix, fits well for your clothing also. So yes. you can adjust the colors <laughs> for your clothing. Yes, that's also. true. You can match and have different colors, which is nice. Nice. Okay, I'm ready with my belt. I adjusted already my pouches. Mm -hmm. It should be like this. There's my flax on the sides. Mm -hmm. If I put it on. So for me, it will be like this. So we can try That's them. Good on competitions. Let's try to fit the belt into the back. We'll see how much mm -hmm. space it will use. Nice, that's good to be able to put it in your range bag. So yeah. you've got your hands a bit more free when you're walking around. We can do it as small as it can be. It's good for me. I don't mm -hmm. have holster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look how less space. That's really you'd good. have to it has to fit everywhere now. If you look at my bag, it's like very light and very, look. Oh wow, that's awesome. No space using. <laughs> that's really good. So you can go and try. Let's put together yours. We can just roll it up. Really nice. That's with three pouches one magnet and a holster. And that is so much easier as well for traveling. If you're mm -hmm. traveling very, very to light. Comparing to my yeah. previous belt, it's mm -hmm. very light. I can just pop that in there. Yeah, oh, fit everywhere. Looks great. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Let's go and try on the competitions now. Yeah, I'm excited to try shooting with it. See how it goes. We can put our gun and magazines in yeah. and see how and it goes. it in action. Yeah, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> so now we're at the range at one of the level three competitions in Tartu. Uh, today, going to try using the belt that we've built. I've got the CR Speed holster for the Checkmate, which you can see how it attaches on the belt here. And I've also got the CR Speed magazine pouches as well. So I went with the white, I'm quite liking the color scheme. And yeah, it feels quite good. The belt is quite thin, so it doesn't stick out quite as much as the usual belts. Um, yeah, so let's go have some shooting on the range and see how it goes.
that went really well. It felt good, it felt easy to run around. The belt feels a lot lighter as well. Um, yeah, it feels really secure. Just felt like I could fly and keep running and shooting. So the shooting is all done. Going to de-rig, take off the gun and show you how nicely it fits into the range bag. So it just undoes at the clip at the front and then all of this comes straight off. Okay. Now that the shooting is all finished, we can pack up and get ready to go. So usually the belt that I use from Double Alpha is like this one here and it's a little bit bulky and doesn't actually fit into my range bag. So I'm always carrying things. I've got a lot in my hands. One of the really cool benefits with this one here is that it all just rolls up nice and small to pack that away. So you can see it just fits really nicely. It's nice and compact. And the other thing it will be good for as well is traveling. So if you are going to competitions where you're flying or traveling and have quite a lot of luggage, you can just put it straight in your bag. Don't have to worry about it getting damaged or anything like that. And now we're ready to go. We hope you've really enjoyed learning and watching about the new products available from Double Alpha Academy. We have all of them in stock now. There's a range of the products, so you've got your links which are available um, right now on the website. We've got the buckle kits as well. We've got the roll pins and also the mini punch tool. And you can find everything on IPC store all together and separately. Great, well thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the range. And see us on YouTube and all other social media channels. See you, bye bye. bye. <laughs>